Hi guys, welcome back. We have another tutorial for you today. Again, this is not based on Excel, it's more around PowerPoint. So what we're going to go into today is how you can animate a bar from a bar chart to move so that it looks like um, something's on the increase. Now this will make sense once we get really into the video when the visuals part starts to come. But you may want to use this in some of your presentations if you want to show something that's on the increase. So you may be in a presentation, you want to show that sales are on the rise, efficiency is on the rise, something that's going to be really visual when you click, you can show something move. Again, this is very easy to do, just takes a little bit of knowledge. So I've just opened up a new presentation. I'm just going to delete these just to get them out of the way. Now to make a start, you first of all need to insert a can or a number of cans. So you need to go to insert and then press shapes. Once you press shapes, under basic shapes, you've got a can icon on the right hand side. Press that and you're going to draw a can. Okay? Now we need at least two of these, so I'm going to copy and paste my can. And I'm going to do a couple more things with these before we make a start. Now, first of all, you need to have a primary color and a secondary color. The primary color is the color that's going to be displayed once the other part of the can has moved away. For my primary color, I'm going to use blue. But the first thing I'm going to do is take the lines away. So if I right click and go to format shape, press line color, press no line. Okay? I'm then going to do something very similar with my next can. I'm going to format shape, but I'm going to change the color to my secondary color. So line color, no line, and fill, I'm going to change to red. Okay? Now, you want to change the size of this can. So let's say to what we call we call a starting point. And I'm going to overlay this straight over the top you may be able to see what's coming next okay what we're going to have is this can shift away so it looks like something's on the increase and you could change the starting point by moving the bottom of the can to where it fits on on, on what you want to show now we need to animate this so we're going to press the red can which is going to move away we're going to press animations first of all open up your animation pane Okay, this is going to provide us a storyboard as what's going to happen. Now we're ready to apply our animation, and the animation is already built into uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Now there's two types of uh, animation, an entry animation and an exit animation. We want to go down to exit animations, which are in red. And you can see these here. And we want to press wipe. Okay, now you, straight away you probably see what, where this is going. As soon as I hit my animation, the red can disappears and it's going away quite quickly. If you want to change the speed, go to your animation pane and you can extend the length of the animation. So you can see here that the animation length is 0 0.5 seconds. And we're looking at the right hand side of the screen here. If I extend that to 1.5 seconds, when I activate my animations again, it moves away much more slowly. So you can play around with this to get it fitting in with what you want to achieve. Okay? Hopefully this all makes sense. Now you may want to, instead of having something move completely away, to show something on uh, like 100%, instead, you may want it to stop at 80%. So how do we achieve this? First of all, again, very easy, select the can just copy the red can in this situation, paste another copy. Now let's take an example of 75%. You want to show something going up to about 75%. So we're going to make it so that this is now about 75, 25% uh, of the size of the entire can. Okay, and we're just going to overlay this onto the top. Now you may have noticed that on our right hand side we now have another animation block. This is for the, the can we've pasted on. We want to delete this because otherwise that can's going to disappear as well. All I've done is paste this can over the top 
of my other cam because now when I press my animation you can see exactly what happens it moves up to that point I'll show you this in the big screen okay so again you can use this for so many things hope this makes sense to you all if you've got any questions on this please let me know I'm planning on doing some other things on Excel in terms of um, other animations that I find useful so if you have any uh, suggestions place them in the comments and I'll see you next time